tug has been taken out of the 4500 gallon again after Parons chewed him up. I thought maybe the skin would remain, but the skin is gonna peel off. I don't wanna live in there. Even though after I started feeding the Parons every day, they left him alone. But I didn't wanna risk it anymore. And I don't wanna and I didn't want to feed him every day anymore either. So poor thug spent about 10 days in the big tank. He got so good in it, was eating like a king, like he usually does. And then the Paroons attacked him. Uh, <coughs> of course it's uh, it's my fault, uh, the Paroons either got hungry because they were not taking the large mullet and I was trying to break them for a long time and they wouldn't cave but also right now is the time coming up for the courtship and uh, migration and uh, spawning so their appetite increases considerably as their predatory behavior and spunk as well so uh, one way or another or both ways I made a mistake so thug paid for it sadly and unfortunately I didn't see the Parons attack him, it happened overnight. It started with a couple of nibbles, and I didn't know who it was, so I left him there for another night. And the next morning he was pretty badly chewed up. I'm pretty sure it's the Parons, nobody else would, would do that. And he wasn't afraid of anybody else, but when the Parons approached him, he, he would try to swim, swim away from them. He would act nervous when they came close. Anyhow, another day, another blunder, another problem, another I'm sorry. Running out of stories here.